Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's Yonks. Today, I'll be showing you her revenge. This is the Queen's Hand Cannon. I got this from achieving the high score in the Challenge of Elders. I got the package from Barracks in the Reef, and I got the Hand Cannon guy, so I'll be quickly going over what perks I have and run on this thing. So I run the Fast Draw IS site here. I have partial refund, chance to return a portion of the mag after an assist. Uh, don't really like that perk too much. Extended mag. A larger magazine the max size goes from 9 to 10 with this on guys reinforced barrel increase range reduce stability and feather mag faster reload reduce mag so the mag will go to 8 with feather mag on all right guys so reinforced barrel will increase that range very nicely but that stability goes down quite significantly and this thing already has a bit of a kick to it so that's why I do not go with reinforced barrel I just stick with extended mag here Grenadier, kills with this weapon, reduce the cooldown of your grenade. All right, so not the best perks on this hand cannon, guys. Now, before we get into it, I do want to mention, this is kind of like an in-between rate of fire and impact hand cannon. This is very similar to a Hawk Moon, a Magaloop, and IS Luna. Anyway, guys, let's take a look at the aesthetics. All right, looks pretty cool. We have the queen symbol here in the middle, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, guys, let's get right into the gameplay. So her revenge versus the Ultra Knight for the DPS test, and guys, I do want to note I was not using extended mag, I used reinforced barrel so it wouldn't affect the DPS in any type of way. I wanted to keep it as realistic as possible at the basic mag size because clearly not everybody is going to roll extended mags when getting this hand cannon. Anyway guys, it took me 20 shots to put him down in just under 15 seconds, each headshot dealing 1,000 666 damage and guys let me tell you those reloads were killer to this dps anyway we're moving right along to pvp and speaking of reloads killing dps how long does it take to reload this hand cannon well just about three seconds long and that is a long time out of the fight so if you guys are in the crucible make sure you find a nice safe little area to reload this hand cannon so you could get back into the battle Okay, her revenge will deal 86 damage to the head and 57 damage to the body, but of course this does depend on what range you're at if you're too far away guys, you will definitely not get these numbers, this is a hand cannon, and this is meant for close to medium range combat at any type of distance, you will see a huge damage drop off and also an accuracy drop off with hand cannons as they are really not meant for longer range combat guys. So if you are in the right range, it'll take three shots to put somebody down if all your shots are headshots, or it'll take four shots to put somebody down if all your shots are body shots. So what is the time to kill with her revenge if you land all headshots? Well, it takes 0.86 seconds to get three shots off with this hand cannon. So under a second to put an enemy down, really not bad at all. So you are gonna wanna be in tight areas while using this hand cannon and you're gonna want to aim for the head to make those shots really count you do not want to reload while in a firefight with an enemy because if you do have to reload you are gonna be three seconds out and chances are you will not survive to get another shot off with the hand cannon so switching to a secondary weapon would not be a bad choice whatsoever if you do find yourself in that situation where you do have to reload while in a firefight with an enemy anyway guys what did I think of her revenge well at this point in the game, to be honest, I'm really not a huge fan of hand cannons in the Crucible, but I did still have some fun with it, and I managed to get a bunch of kills with it in the Crucible. Now, if I had some better perks on this thing, I must say I would have certainly had more fun with it, like Luck in the Chamber or Final Round at the very least. Something to play around with, but I literally had really nothing with this hand cannon to mess around with perk wise at least my opinion so I pretty much have to solely base this on the weapon itself and I do think it is pretty decent for somebody who loves hand cannons they would probably enjoy this one very much and of course depending on what perks you get this thing does have some true potential in the crucible I could imagine anyway guys leave in the comments and let me know is her revenge something you're looking forward to getting from the Varix package after achieving that high score let me know guys overall I did have some fun with her revenge and I did find myself doing pretty decent in the crucible with this even though I'm not the biggest fan of hand cannons in the game right now like I mentioned earlier so guys if you do get her revenge with some good perks on it it wouldn't hurt giving this a shot at all anyway guys thank you so much for watching please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the video and go ahead and leave a sub if you haven't already if you want to see more weapon reviews similar to this one I'm always covering weapons here in destiny anyway guys i'll see you next time